Hey everybody, Dave Williams. It's time to get ready and go for part two of the opening the 106 car Redline collection, revealing it to you and to myself for the first time in person. Now I did see this, of course, on uh, pictures on the internet and now it's time they're here. It took a couple of weeks for them to get here, but they're finally here and it's time to come on, Dave, shut up and just get these things open. All right, I'll do it. Turbo Fire Lime Turbo Fire's got some decals and some stick arounds on it. Otherwise, it's got nice color. Looks like the back end is loose. Typically, the cars like this with the loose parts and whatnot, I'll put in my antique mall space, which is a lot of fun to have. If you live in a bigger city and you got some extra stuff to sell, antique and collectible malls are kind of fun. Have a space and gives you a place to go make a nice display. And I really like doing that. Here we got a Mercedes Aqua. Not great shape. Does have nice wheels on it, however. And I think some of that sticky residue might be able to get come off there. And then the car will look pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. And the next up here, the next up here is, well, it is a crumbling bifocal. Crumbling bifocal. This one with a bad base. Now, once upon a time, I had a pair of these, one with the bad base and one with a bad top, and we just paired them up and went with it that way. And that worked out real good, so I'll probably save this one too, unless you've got a good base and a bad top. Maybe we can talk about that, because this is a real nice top. Really nice, got both original decals on it and everything. It's just the bottom is completely crumbled. Probably just go ahead and take that off. No sense having that hang around. It's not going anywhere. Well, it's going away. Here we got a 57 T-Bird from 1969, and it's got red stripes painted on it with paint. So I think, like I said before in this first video, is I think I'm just going to put some eyeballs on the side here. Go ahead and stay with the racing theme and just resell them that way. I always resell the cars I don't need for my collection. And the ones I do need for my collection, I keep. Of course, because I'm a collector. What do you think I do this for? Anyway, fun for my health. Actually, it is fun. It is for my health. Here we got Ooga. Ooga. Didn't know what color this was, but you know, you never can tell. There's always going to be some surprises in a collection you get. This is a salmon grasshopper. This is a salmon grasshopper. Very nice. Very nice. Take that top off. Kind of get a better feel for the color. Look at that salmon grasshopper. I don't recall the last time I saw one of those. Probably thought it was pink when I saw the picture because that's typically what they are. But this one is the true salmon. Salmon. I don't even know if they actually were trying to paint the car that way or not. It's a good question. Next one up, Evil Weevil in blue. Hey, what collection does not have an Evil Weevil in blue? That is the common color for the Evil Weevil. This one is in very nice shape. It's always good to get, you know, when you buy a collection, you're going to get a combination. You're going to get some good cars, and you're going to get some bad cars. And you're going to get some surprises both ways. Surprise for me so far is that salmon car. It's real nice. Here's a blue sugar caddy. Another real common color for a 71 sugar caddy is blue. And this one is in decent shape. It's got a few nicks on it around the edges there. And that's why collectors, these are all typically have a lot of wear on them because they have all these sharp edges. And so that makes looking for one with no chips, because ideally what a collector wants is the most perfect car they can find. And so the more challenging it is, the more fun it is, because you want perfection after all. But you'll take anything at first. Look at that. This one's nice. Hey, sidekick, light green. Haven't had a sidekick for a while. This one used to have the running gear thing on the bottom. Can't really explain that to you right now, but there is a piece that goes on the bottom of these to make it gonna go around by wire control. That's the sidekick from 72. Always nice to get a sidekick. And Ferrari 512 is a great one too. Oh, maybe one of those are in here. Here we got a red US Porsche. A red US Porsche. Now this one's got some decals and things on it that kind of throw you off, but it's actually, it looks like a pretty decent dark red color. 
Might have to clean all that stuff off of there and just see what we got when we get her all stripped down of decals and numbers and start from scratch. It is pretty nice. I do love myself some red Porsche 917. So I might do some work on that one to get all that stuff cleaned up. Let's see what's next here. We have... Ah, whipped creamer in yellow. This one, again, with the racing stripes. Racing stripes of black paint right there, yeah. Black paint is an excellent way to make a $30 car go to $5, $10 or something like that. So don't do it for crying out loud. Don't do it. And the next one up, oh, this is one of the good cars from the collection. A blue cord. Got a little ding right there. Little tiny ones, micros there. The hood is nice, beautiful. Got original top on there. It's a nice cord. It's a very nice cord. You might not stand. Sometimes I start staring at the car and I forget to put it into the screen there so that you see it. Because that's the important part is that you see it and enjoy my revealing of the collections. Because that is what I do. I buy collections. If you have a collection to sell, feel free to contact me, David at or toycarcollector at gmail.com. And I buy collections of red lines. Red lines only, please. Red line Hot Wheels. Hey, what do we got here is a orange hot heap. Orange hot heap with some toning on it. Orange hot heap with some toning on it. It would sure be pretty if it was perfect. Also has the tires got swapped out there. Got a little tire on this side, big tire on that side. Tires in pretty good shape right there. Orange hot heap. Actually... Here I go yawning. Excuse me. I don't have a dump button like a radio station. Um, and I hate to pause. I hate to pause. It just makes it too much work. See this one? You know, look at it. has got... It didn't paint it very well on this side. It's got darkening on there. But man, you know, when you see a car like this, I think, you know, a perfect orange hot ape would be so beautiful. I wonder if I have one. I don't even know anymore, you know, because I have to spend all my time answering phone calls, buying collections and selling stuff. I have very little time to actually play with my own collection, except for the new cars that I get. This one, what is going on inside of this one? This one has a, this one has a spider inside of it, or I had a spider inside of it at one time. That's what that white residue is. And now it's just an average shit condition Lola GT70 in green enamel. And I don't know if you can get that out of there. You could sp I'll probably spray some water in there, maybe see if I can get that out of there a little bit. Otherwise, we'll put that in the collectible mall space. Yes. All right, what's next here? Oh, here's one of the good cars from the collection. It's working out so far so good. There were about 12 cars that I was really looking forward to out of the 106, this being one of them, and she's nice. It's nice to get a light blue Sweet 16. Haven't had one for a while. Yeah, that's a nice color. That's a good one. That is a good one. Good, good, good. All right. Now, what's next? What's next? What's next? Ah, Mongoose 2. Let's take a look. Ooh, this is a good one. That's on backwards. That one's on right. Wait a minute. That one's on right, but that one's on backwards. So there must have been one more sticker. Maybe it's one of the ones stuck on the case up there. Pretty good shape. It's got a little wear on the front there, but the stripes are pretty much all there. I call it all there, and it's in good shape. You see, Tom McEwen, Mongoose 2, Mongoose 2. Those are hard to get, really hard to get. Snake and Mongoose 2, just, they're just tough. They're so tough. I'm just sitting here admiring this case. It was so nicely built. Oh, yes, here's one of the cars I really wanted, and there it is, and it is everything I could imagine. It is an orange beach bomb. I have an orange beach bomb in a blister pack, but I don't have one loose. And so I needed this, an orange beach bomb loose. Look how pretty that is. Orange beach bomb. Oh, if it only had white interior. Well, that's another goal. One thing about collecting Hot Wheels, there's endless numbers of goals to achieve. So many goals, so many things to go for, so many things to look for. And the next one up is, oh, this is a good one, yeah. I saw this and I thought, hey, wait a minute, Magenta Torero, those are hard. I could use a Magenta Torero, I probably have one, but another one would be nice too. This one's got a little sticky residue on there, I have to do a little cleaning, get that off. 
sticky residue. And that, that needs a tire swap on the front there. Oh, this got cap wheels on the back and hubs on the front. It's a later, later edition. Later edition. So these are Hong Kong looking wheels on the back. Kind of on the front too. Well, the front ones look more like US wheels, but uh, a little shiny. But anyway, I'm going to work on that, try to get that goo off there. So I got some work cut out for me on these cars. This is not, the, it's not as simple as it looks. 10 minutes in and let's see what's next. Green silhouette, ah, silhouettes, yeah, whatever, silhouettes, 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 so many silhouettes out there, it's amazing. And here we got a rose, try baby, try me baby, rose, right on, good one, very good one, very good one, rose, try baby. They actually sell pretty well, but I recently put a Rose Tri-Baby on eBay, and that was a huge mistake. My goodness. You know, cars that don't uh, have super popularity, you do not want to auction them off. That is not a good idea. All right, there it is, Rose. And let's see, I got a whole nother side of this case. Can you see the case? Can you see it? Let's see. I'm going to pull this up. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, ho. Oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, oh ho. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what 106 cars looks like. Look at that up in there. They just keep coming right up to the top. Oh man. Oh man. And down there, those are the ones I've opened so far, plus some on the side. So let's get right back at it. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. How about this one up here? Might be a heavyweight. No, it's an indie car. Grand Prix. No, it's not even that. It's a Johnny Lightning. It's a stinking Johnny Lightning custom dragster. At least it's got a bubble on it. The rest of the thing is no good. It's bent up, broken wheels. Motors are all broken. But it's, at least it's got a bubble on it. What's next? This one feels like... Oh, hey. This is a good one. Get it right up in the camera there, Dave. This one actually is very nice. Whoa. That is a magenta dump truck, a real magenta dump truck. That one's nice. That one's going to clean up and go right in the display case. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, so many cars. 106 cars came in today. Oh, yellow waste wagon, waste wagon. Not one of the more popular Hot Wheels, the waste wagon, but they can be nice. They can be real nice. And this one is... This one is in good shape for yellow. It really is. Let's see, let's take the camera back down to here. Oops, look at that dirt. Boy, good thing the wife's coming home late tonight because this is a mess. It's dirty. All this, you know what's happening is the paper towels are pulling the dust out of this case and this case is dusty. School bus, school bus. Look at that, oh, is that front wheel bent? Uh oh. A little bit. Hmm. I might be able to fix that. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Ah, let's try to pull it back into shape. It's a pretty nice school bus, really. It's got all the decals on there. Real nice. Stickers, actually, not decals, but... Uh, yeah, that's real nice. Hmm. Nice. All right. I'm going to put that in the fabulous thank you for that car category. Oh, whoa. One fell out, and what is it? It's a fire engine with a red and white interior. Red with a white interior, I always like that. One of the things you always have to watch out for on the fire engine, as you see, there's supposed to be four tabs right here. One, two, three, four, and all four are broken off on this one. So, all four broken off. At least it still has a ladder on it, though. It is complete with the cab. So, there you are with a fire engine. Now, where is that car that I really want? I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, yeah, baby. Bubbling. Oh, bubbling. Ba bubbling. Oh, I'm loving that. Look at that. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Super fine turbine in red. I had one of these once upon a time. Then I sold all my 73s, but this one's nice. It's so clean. So clean. And when I mean clean, I mean no dings. 
Maybe there's a ding on the front fender, but man, you gotta really gotta look to find it. So I'm loving that. That gives me two 73s out of this collection. The two of the reasons I wanted this collection are those two, or should I say these two? Let's put them over here. These two, yeah, 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 and this one, and this one, which I didn't even know till today, and the school bus, and the classic cord. You know, you get some nice cars in, you get some, you know, not so nice cars, but that's the fun of buying a collection, collection. And a Firebird, oh, I wish, one of my collections I'm getting this week is gonna have some nice customs in it. You know, this, man, what a great car this would be in mint condition. I would love to see a blue Firebird in mint condition. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I would. Wouldn't you? What's next? Uh, Fire Chief Cruiser. Every collection has one. It's nice shape. Nice and glossy. Very glossy, actually. Got a few chips on it, but overall, quite nice. Quiet and nice. All right, next one up is a purple twin mill purple twin mill with white interior got some stick arounds on it average shape got some nice wheels on it nice wheels on the purple twin mill purple twin mill and what do we got here now oh look at this now this is a car it's too bad this car wasn't mint huh blue mustang usa oh that'd be a good one that yeah, would be a good one i do have a blue i actually have a blue USA Mustang that is absolutely perfect. I've got a couple of perfect Mustangs and that's about it. Well, one of them was one of them was purple, came out of a banged up blister pack. Another one is blue and somebody brought it to me at a convention and said it had been pulled from a blister and the third one is a green that I pulled from a cut blister. And that is my story of my three best Mustangs. Get those out and look at them someday. I haven't seen them for a while. Here's a purple python. Purple python. Cheetah. No, just python. And she's rough. She's rough. But hey, it's purple, so what the heck, huh? Purple beggars can't be purple choosers. All right, here we go. That was silly. All right, and here is the funny money. Everybody's got one. Funny money. Funny money. Funny money, funny money. It's a school bus outside my house right now. Oh, what's this? Oh, custom AMX. This one is, oh, man, I hope I can get those decals off there because this one's yellow. Sorry about that. This one is yellow and it is very good yellow. It is a very good yellow. Are those, is that sticker residue or is that chips? Hmm. Man, if I could get those decals off of here, I don't know if I want to try, but oh man, wish I could get those off because this yellow is nice and yellow is a tough color to get anything this pretty. Man, I hope I could get those off there. I think I'll try water first. Yeah, boy, oh boy, I hate scraping on them because uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just leave them. But this car, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but in person, this thing is very, very yellow. Very yellow. Very, very yellow. I don't know if I have one that clear. That is very yellow. And here, oh, look at this. Got a few decals on this one, too, that need to come off. But this is a beautiful, yeah, this is a beauty right here. This has got a really nice thick paint job on this Magenta Nomad. Hmm, that is nice. Sometimes you can just go ahead and push that decal off, but man, it's it's nerve-wracking, I tell you that. Better to have a little water or something on there. That one is nice. Now, sometimes if you take these, I might leave those on. The nice ones I'll go ahead and leave on because sometimes when you take those off, you end up with dark spots or white light spots or, you know, because the paint was covered all these years. We'll get that off the front there. Leave those other ones on there for now. Yeah, it's groovy, man. Maybe I'll just throw in a, I'll throw in a sheet of decals with that so they can just put more on there. Next up feels like a IndyCar Grand Prix Brabham. Brabham. Brum. The least popular cars of all time, the Hot Wheels Grand Prix cars. Oh, look at here. We have another. Special delivery from 1971. Special delivery. This one's nice. Very nice. 
Yeah, that's nice. Haven't had a really good one for a while. That'll be good. What's next? Oh, look at this. T for two. Eh, this one's in yellow, but it's got a lot of toning on it. It's kind of dark all over, so its motors are dull. Kind of boring. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Come on. I may have to quit here because I'm running out of steam. I'm running out of steam. Paddy wagon. Come on. I can't get excited if all I'm opening is paddy wagons for crying out loud. Hmm. Paddy wagon. Huh. All right. That's going to be it for this, the second edition of opening the 106 car collection. I think we got, let's see, 4, 8, 6, 12, 16, 20. 25. We got about 30 more cars to go. And we got these here on the table. And we'll come back for part three and get them all out and get them all open. And away we go. Thanks for joining me. Part two of the big 106 car collection.